Nothing new for Rhinebeck and Spack and Kill Boys soccer teams. This Section 9 Class B title game was their third meeting in the last three weeks. Spack and Kill won the regular season game. Rhinebeck won the matchup for the Mahal Championship. And here we are again for the Section 9 Class B Championship. Early in the first half, Rhinebeck wastes no time. The long push. And Seth McClenahan one times it. It's 1 0 Rhinebeck within the first 10 minutes of the game. Spack and Kill tried to even it up and had a great chance off the corner kick. Jeremy Laboy gets a couple of swipes at it. James Hannon comes in, but Eric Rodriguez locks it up. Later in the half, Nick Hoynes takes this one in unassisted. And it's a two goal lead at halftime for Rhinebeck. Second half, a foot race. McClanahan wins it for his second goal, and that's the way this one would end, with Rhinebeck winning the Section 9 Class B Sectional Championship with a 3-0 win over Spackenkill. We played our game, you know, we just couldn't capitalize. We had opportunities. I thought we gave him a little too much uh, room in the middle at times, and uh, you know, with kids like Andy Rosenswag and Seth McClanahan up top, you can't really give them. There's not much room for error, and you know, they take advantage of their opportunities. You know, we could have ten and score one; they could have one and score one, and that's really what happened today. Our focus for the whole season is defense, and defense stepped it up huge today. Oh my God, they had they didn't have too much. We defended them like crazy and got the jo job done today. Nobody ever likes playing the same team three times in like three weeks, and that's that's definitely tough. So it came at us with a couple different things, but we played our game. You know, we, we certainly want to make sure uh, specific guys on their team um, weren't able to move around too much, which I, I thought we did a real nice job being able to um, kind of shut down some of their uh, stronger players. Got to play for Brant. We have a, a teammate, Brant, who's in the hospital right now, and as long as we keep in our minds, him in our minds, we'll get it done.